What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we are looking at Password Crack 5. This is the final Password Crack level in Pico CTF's Password Crack mini-series. So in previous episodes we did level 1, 2, 3, and 4. Today we're looking at Password Crack 5. So pulling that up, the description reads, Can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the Password Cracker here and you will need the encrypted flag and the hash in the same directory too. Here's a dictionary with all possible passwords based on the password conventions we've seen so far. Cool. Move over to my terminal, ls.la. You can see that I've already downloaded those files specified in the description. I can run level3.py or level5.py, forgive me. It asks us to enter a password. Um, please sub. That password is incorrect. Let's look at the dictionary. Let's see what that contains. We can see that it's quite beefy. Vim dictionary.txt. And these are the possible passwords. It starts at zero and it increments by one and goes all the way up. And now it's writing in hex. I can hit shift G to go to the bottom. It ends with F F F. F. So we see by the size, um, by the line number, there's 65,536 possible passwords. I definitely do not want to enter those one by one. So let me open up the Python file so we can see what is going on. All right, this is no different than the other challenges in the password crack, um, you know, files. It imports hashlib, it stores the correct password hash, and the encrypted flag in a variable. It creates a hash password function that returns an MD5 hash. And on line 26, we see level five password check. It grabs our input, it hashes it, and it compares it with the correct hash. If they're equal, it'll print the decrypted flag. Otherwise, it prints the password is incorrect and exits. So, in the previous level, for level three and four, we saw that we could make a for loop and iterate across the password list, hash it, and compare that with the correct hash. Well, we wanna do something very similar um, with this challenge, but instead of iterating across a list, we wanna iterate across that file. So let me make some comments before I write my code. Open the dictionary for each possible password in the dictionary. We want to do something. Hash it and compare it to the correct password. If equal, print the password and exit. So in order to open a file in Python, there's many ways to do it, but I'm a big fan of the with keyword. So with open, and then the name of the file, dictionary.txt, and then as, so the file name you wanna give it, I'm just gonna call this um, dick <laughs> dictionary. So for password in dictionary, uh, you want to hash the password. So current hash equals hash password password and then if current hash equals the correct hash print out password and then exit or uh, break you know exit out let's run this 
it asks us for a password. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's incorrect. And nothing else happens. So I'll open this back up in Vim. So what's going on? It iterated across every single password in the dictionary. It hashed it and it compared it to the correct task. So one of those should have matched. One should have been correct. However, we got no output. Let me see what we're actually printing out. So let me print password. This is a good way to debug any code. If you're not sure what's going on, just print it out. Save and exit. Rerun the code. Oh, indentation error. Fix that. Python's very, very picky about its indentations. Rerun it, enter a password, uh, 4321 this time. No. But what do you notice? It printed out everything, right? But there's a blank space, right? If I open up that file in Vim, we see they're all, there, there's no spaces, right? So why is that? It's because print adds one new line, but the file, the password already has a new line, right? So there's basically, we're basically doing this, right? Instead of FFFE, it's really FFFE new line or FFFF new line, right? So that's what we're comparing. That's what we're hashing. So I can delete that print statement. So as I said before, we do not want that new line character. We want to get rid of it. We can do that in Python by saying password.strip. So that gets rid of new lines and carriage returns and all that stuff. I don't really care about it. So update password. Now when I run it, hi. So hi is the incorrect password, but then it prints out 9581. That is the correct password. And we get our flag. Right? So we had to strip out those new line characters that we were reading in from the dictionary file. Grab this, we can see that it says hash slinging. All right, that's it for the password crack, levels one through five. I hope you enjoyed this little mini series. Let me know in the comments below if you found a different way to solve it, maybe something more um, neat and clean than just what I did. All right, guys, take it easy and see you in the next video. Okay.